adding custom text or doodles to your YouTube covers or just to any graphic can be a fun way to add a little extra flair. And did you know that you can now do this in Canva? I have the Canva app on my iPad and my Apple Pencil. Let me show you how to get it connected. First, you wanna make sure that your pencil is properly connected to the iPad that you're using. So go ahead and just put that on the charger, make sure it's hooked up. Now let's open up the Canva app. Go ahead and sign in if you haven't done that yet. Let's create a YouTube cover image for this video. Very meta, I know. We'll use this image, so I'm just gonna size it to the proper size here and get myself in frame. We're also going to use Magic Grab to grab some elements off of this image so I can use the background, so we wanna make sure that all parts are selected here. There we go, we're gonna hit grab and let that process. Now we can move my image separate from the rest of the image. I'm also going to up the brightness of the background by quite a bit because we are going to add in an effect to blur the whole background. This just gives us a cleaner image on YouTube and reduces some of the clutter. Okay, now I'm going to actually flip these around because I want my text on the right here. And let's fix our layers here. All right, so normally we put some text on our graphics, but I think today we're going to do some handwriting. So I'm going to delete the two text elements and we're going to go to draw right here at the bottom. Here we can choose between a pen, a marker, highlighter, or an eraser. Let's go with the marker. We can also set the line weight. So I'm gonna set this a little bit thicker and we can set the color. So let's make this black. And I'm gonna zoom in here just a bit and this is where I'm going to use the Apple Pencil. And I don't know if you caught that, but Canva actually is auto-correcting those just slightly. So although my text is rather large, it is fixing some of that as I'm writing. Let's say I did not love how that turned out. I'm going to go to my eraser and as I erase over, everything I touch is going away. It's not an independent eraser. So we're just gonna start over, this time with a smaller line weight. Okay, now let's try that one again. Now let's take our brand color and let's add some additional elements around the image just for fun. So that's it. If your Apple Pencil has been collecting dust, this is a great way to add a little bit of creative flair to your next project. Let us know what is your favorite Canva hack or tip in the comments down below. And if you're interested in watching more videos like this, check out our Creators Essentials playlist. We'll see you in the next one.